and a one, two, three. Okay. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided that I wanted to do something different um, just because I felt, you know, compelled by the spirit. And I'm not saying this in a funny way, although I am laughing. <laughs> I just felt like um, maybe someone might have needed to hear this because um, it's something that I've been battling with myself personally for years now, for eons. And um, I think now that I'm overcoming it, because of this thing that I did, I decided that I should probably film a video about it. Um, yeah, so today is just going to be like an advice chit chat thing. Um, if you have water, in running water in, in, your, in your crib, grab some water. I'm drinking some of mine. And yeah, let's, let's get into this. So today, what I'm going to be talking about is um, doing it anyway. And I know that's a very vague, vague, vague title, but it's basically, it's not about the bad things, it's about doing the things that you've always wanted to do and not allowing your fear or your anxiety or the devil to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. So that's basically what it's about. And yeah, I, I hope that it helps somebody. Um, yeah. So this video was fundamentally inspired by this competition that I recently um, uh, participated in called the Nivea Skinfluencer Competition and I actually didn't know about it until my, my friend sent it to me which I'm very grateful for because it means that she believed in me and she thought that I would probably win I mean you know or that I, I would gain something from it so whatever the case may be she sent it to me because she thought that I would get something out of it and that that was really touching um if it was just not to me I, I probably wouldn't have done it to be to be honest let's just be real here i wouldn't have done it because I, I i would have been worried that i don't know maybe people think that i'm being vain by participating in that competition like oh who does she think she is you know you know they want somebody that looks like they're using nivea your skin must look like you're shiny <laughs> so yeah um I, I, I wouldn't have done it and, and i'm actually surprised i really did it like my ego and my pride thinking oh i have to ask people to vote for me uh, yeah yeah it was, it was also a pride it came from a prideful place also just a shameful place because I, I also didn't know how to ask hey guys please vote for me please and like i don't want to be that person i just felt like I, i'd be annoying like a pest and i didn't want to feel that way it's just the conspiracy theories that i have of myself you know yeah, so um, I decided that against all odds, I decided that I would do it anyway, and I did. And, um, let me just state, I do understand that not everybody has that one friend, or, you know, even half a friend, even half, even just a small piece of a friend to encourage you to, do, to take part in things, you know, that believes in you, that encourages you. Some people have friends that are really questionable. Do they even deserve to be called friends, you know? Um, so I understand that I, I was in a privileged position because my, I had a, a good friend that thought that it'd be a good idea if I did that and not everybody has that some people don't even have friends you know some people have friends that would be discouraging them ah show me you want to do that uh, you know I don't know oh, it's a waste of time or they'll discourage you ah but what are the chances you'll get it you know what I mean um, and others may have some people that secretly have ill wishes for you or they're jealous of you guys actually please can you just renegotiate your friends think just sit down and think just have a glass of water ne? it will clear your mind it will cleanse your soul and just sit down in the sunlight even sit down and oh sit down no actually don't even sit down in the sun and you're not going to be distracted by anything sit in the darkness sit in a dark room under a blanket and i want you to think who are your friends and why are they your friends please don't waste your time honestly now that i'm saying this i just realized how many people have really toxic friends and toxic friendships and it might not just be on the person's part they themselves might also be contributing to this toxic friendship and they might not even realize you know does does the relationship serve you please re re reconsider your friendships because wow they can really make or break somebody and change how you perceive yourself how you see the world just people that you associate yourself with in general, they affect your energy, they affect your, your potential to succeed. So going back to my story about the Nivea Skin Fluence competition, because of all these ne this negative down talk and the doubting and the anxiety and just 
Yeah, because I'm, I'm just anxious about things like that. Like, I, I, I used to have, like, really bad stage fright when I was younger, for example. But anyway, um, what once was a, a feeling of certainty and excitement, I'm going to do this, it's so exciting, and it's okay. If I don't win, it's fine, but I'm going to do it anyway, you know. It was then replaced with the melodies of the devil singing in my ear. And... In fact, I almost harmonized with him. I almost joined him in his song. You won't make it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You know, it's embarrassing. <laughs> I almost joined in that song. I almost, I almost sang along. I even almost harmonized. But then, I, I, luckily, and I'm really glad I did this. I, I um, sat down and I realized, like, what do I have to lose if I do this? If anything, I have everything to gain. I have my confidence to build on and also I didn't realize that this would this this would also help me for the future because now I already have like I've already set a foundation for future ventures that I'd like to take on that would have had that initial scary feeling because I'd think then I have a reference point I, I was able to do that and I was able to do that I can do this you know what I mean um, I don't want to I don't want to stay stagnant also uh, so yeah, uh, a friend of mine actually a friend of mine actually told me something the other day. If you don't try, yeah, if you don't try at all, then you have an absolute hundred percent chance of missing. Think about that. Let it enter your mind, enter your brain, and sit. I didn't win. Please don't be commenting in the comments. Congratulations. That's gonna just be very awkward. It's just gonna be awkward. I didn't win. Okay, but I'm glad I did it nonetheless. And Honestly, I'm okay with it, you know? I mean, it would be nice if I won, but I didn't, and I'm okay with it. I didn't die. I'm not feeling itchy. I'm drinking my water. My skin is glowing. Life, life is good, you know? Um, yeah, I'm at peace with it because I did it anyway. A failure is not, it's not a waste. It does. It's, a failure is not just that. You don't just limit a failure to it being a failure. It's also a lesson. It's also an opportunity to, to improve yourself, you know? Um, <laughs> whatever it is that you possibly have that you want to take do you, do you want to um, do and you're scared of doing it for whatever reason maybe the devil also wanted to sing songs for you don't listen just block your ears just block your ears or just change the tune change the channel start with the little things it all starts with the little things how you speak to yourself how you talk to yourself the kind of people that you allow to, to, to have power over what you believe of yourself. And that, again, goes back to checking your friends. What kind of friends do you have? Even not friends, your family members as well. Just because they're your family member doesn't mean that they, they, they deserve some sort of award in your life. Some family members can be very toxic. Very toxic. Um, friends can be very toxic. Um, just people that you have relations with can be very toxic. And that, in turn, can affect your... Um, view of life loss aversion which is just the idea that people tend to focus more on their potential losses than they than they do their potential gain so if 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 a situation has a 50 50 chance of you either losing or gaining something out of it majority of the people won't take that risk because of the 50 percent chance of the loss even if the loss is a much smaller percentage than the gain some people still won't take that risk because they still perceive the, the, the loss as too much. The, the fact that it's there alone is enough of, of, of a deterrent. And I, I wanna encourage you to not do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, be, don't, don't be trapped in that kind of thinking because you will miss out on a lot of opportunities. Like I said, the person that doesn't try has a 100% chance of not getting it all, not getting it at all um, and losing. You have a 100% chance of losing if you don't try at all. You know what I mean? As opposed to the 50% the chance of gaining. You know? What if it does work out? You know? My ability to conquer challenges is infinite. No. My ability to conquer challenges is limitless. And my potential to succeed is infinite. I always say this to myself, especially when I'm feeling really down. It really helps me to calm down and to realize that I have potential. And... Um, also, besides that, the fact that I'm saying it out loud also helps me. And I usually say it to myself, um, um, preferably when I'm looking into the mirror, because then I'm looking at myself and I'm saying, hey, you. Um, but also because vocalizing it and saying it out loud, for me, I just think it's also very powerful. I'm a firm believer in the power of the tongue and negative self-talk 
is, is very it's very limiting it's very inhibiting actually and um, it, it holds you back a lot of the time so saying positive things does help have a, a, a mental spring cleaning you know journal journaling can help I journal and I write down the negative things that I that I that I tend to think and the positive things and that helps me to be able to look at it on paper and to be and to say okay why am I feeling like this you know because oftentimes we'll have thoughts and then we'll just suppress them Ugh, it doesn't matter you know what I mean but sometimes there's a reason why you keep having those thoughts what what have what what kind of people have you allowed around you so don't let your circumstance take away your ability to keep going if you fail don't go and buy cement even go and hire a construction worker to come and build your house and then you dwell there in that failure no if you fail you get up and you dust yourself off and you keep going sometimes it'll take longer to do that i'm not saying that it's in, it's with immediate effect but try your best to ensure that it's quick it's quick and going because you don't want time to sit and then you realize that maybe you're comfortable here and then build a comfortable place in failure you know what i'm saying get comfortable with with failing you see it's okay to fail you eventually succeed failure doesn't failure is not it's not the end you know what i mean if anything is the beginning you learn you 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 can acquire more information don't make failure a jacket that you're gonna go and wear and then you'll be parading around the streets wearing that jacket with confidence it's even bright and neon don't do that is what i'm trying to say i don't <laughs> i just get up and keep going like don't don't allow failure to discourage you if anything it should encourage you that oh i i did allow myself to fail and it's okay you know yeah um do what you can to remind yourself of this whether it be a positive affirmation that you say to yourself whether it be a, posi a positive affirmation that you say to yourself for example one positive affirmation that i say to myself is my ability to conquer challenges is limitless my potential to succeed is infinite i always say this to myself you know if it's not that that positive affirmation i read i read to myself and i try and tell myself every day especially when i'm low then it's scripture that i read every day encouraging scripture i like to read these devotions follow these devotions on the bible app for those of you that are not christians you know the positive affirmation also works but i'm just trying to explain how i get myself out of that funk that is often wanting to overtake my life um um you know memes always make me laugh like it's it's very funny there's this meme that i saw yesterday i'm just gonna insert it here i don't believe in marriage for better for worse i want to associate myself with for better once it shifts to worse that belongs to somebody else not me uh, um it just reminds me of the boss bitch that i am sorry for the language but uh, sometimes you have to be aggressive about who you are and what you believe so that the haters can just close their mouth. Let's say it louder than them. Let's drown out their noise. Drown out the sound. Drown out the, the negativity around you. And remind yourself who you are. I, who I am, for example, in Christ. Because I'm a Christian, like I said. And also just as a human being. Because I was created by God. I was wonderfully and fearfully made in the image of God. That verse always, always gets me up. And motivated uh, yeah surrounding yourself with with the kind of future that you want you know um, and that starts with what you say I'm a firm believer in the power of the tongue if you want a life where you are happier and more successful or whatever you start with what you think of yourself how you see yourself the kind of people that you allow you around you um, if you want to get to point B and you're at point A and you're just surrounding yourself with cues for how to get to point A. You're going to remain in point A. Surround yourself with people at point B. Surround yourself with people that are happier. With the role, module, role, role models. You see, when you've been, you've been suffocated with work, all you think about is modules. Module this, module that, assignment this. But one of the things that I try and live by is to live intentionally. To do things. Live my life intentionally. Everything with intention. You know, succeed with intention. Even if I fail, fail with intention, whatever I say, what is the intention behind it? You know, it also helps me to check my heart, to really ask myself, do I really want to do this? Or am I just doing it because A, B, and C, and D? You know what I mean? What's in here and what comes out of here because of what's in here. Um, together, these things can be very powerful. And starting with those small things will make the, the bigger difference in our lives. And yeah, I think it's the little things. Just... Don't forget the little things. Okay, thank you for watching. 
I hope this video helps you. I hope it can help somebody because it didn't do help, did help me. Adapting this kind of mindset did help me in the long run. I didn't win the Nivea thing, but I did it anyway. It's okay, I didn't lose anything, you know? If anything, I'm, I, I, I built pride for myself. I said, wow, I actually did that. I actually went and I said, guys, please vote for me. I actually made a video and I put it out there for anybody to scrutinize. And because I believed in myself enough, I knew that even if I wasn't picked, that wouldn't necessarily um, affect how I, my worth, you know, because my worth, I'm so confident in, in who I am. And I mean, not completely, obviously, but I'm, I'm confident enough in, in who I am that even if they didn't pick me, I wouldn't use that as uh, an, an indicator that I'm not worthy. It just means that they didn't pick me for whatever reason. Another thing that, I, that I'd like to say and that my sister told me and that I'd like to keep in mind, especially for things like this where, you know, chances are you could get it, you could not get it. It's like a gamble almost. You know, life is like a gamble. But anyway, yeah, the thing that my sister likes to tell me is what is yours is yours. What What is meant to be yours is yours. No matter how your haters or whatever people might say to you or might think about you or whatever seeds they might plant in your head. If it's yours, it will be yours. And if it's not yours, then it won't be yours. And I think that also helped me to be encouraged and not to feel discouraged that I didn't get it because if it was mine and it was meant to be mine it would have been mine well obviously I have to meet that thing halfway I had to do my part I did my part and now it was not in my control anymore it was not in my hands anymore you know and I was okay with it not being mine because it means it was not mine I did my part it didn't meet me halfway and that's okay as long as you do your part that just do your part you can't say what is mine will be mine and then you're not doing anything you know you, you you know you can't expect somebody to come all the way from china and then they must come and meet you here no you have to meet them at the airport meet it at the airport yes okay that's what i had to say i hope this encourages somebody and yeah enjoy the rest of your day